no if you have already uh, uploaded notes or uh, video lecture before this interaction that you're having with students now you can ask them that how was that or if they wonder something about uh, the lecture you can uh, select one of the uh, template from this library which one from the beginning plus this one i find it useful you can change it also so you click on it it will appear here okay so th this is uh, this topic uh, this slides will ask a question that what do you wonder about today's topic or you can uh, <coughs> replace this text with uh, is there any concept you want me to explain further okay they, they might have read your notes so they have seen your video lecture online they might need to ask some questions or they want you to explain something in further details so you can use this slide the response of the students will be in text form okay so of course we'll have to write something okay now i will create another slide that will have multiple choice questions uh, either yeah i can make one on my own like this one there uh, i'll type a question here like this here is my question okay let me change the layout like this okay this is my question okay and it, it will be a multiple choice question but you do not need to write your options here okay, you can write your options you can write it's up to you like let's say i li write it like this this is option one this is option two this is option <coughs> three and you can bullet this okay like this but it will not make it a, a multiple choice slide now you have to do is go back out of the templates and then click this choice and you will write your options here okay you will write this this is option one this is option two and this is option three you can add more or you can delete okay. now update it and it will become an interactive slide when the bar is there it means that it is an interactive slide now okay now uh, this uh, when you when you will arrive at this slide the student, students will see a different slide on their device and they can respond by selecting one of these options uh, you can also ask question to your students by uh, for example showing them an image like for example i will create another slide uh, like this one uh, i can ask them for example uh, i can ask them a question that what this image shows so I can insert an image from web. I can uh, insert an image of uh, black hole. This one. I will resize it. And since we uh, are asking students to write something it should be in the form of 
text so what i can do is i can uh, or, or you can select draw also you can ask him to draw it i'll select this as text and when this slide appears there will be a text box in front of the students and they can write their response in that text box uh, you can do a similar thing by showing the multiple images and ask them to choose their option by drawing something on that so uh, let me give you an example i can i will make a new slide and ask them to draw a cute smiley on cat on cat's image or okay on cat so what i will do is i will insert a few images one of those will be cat this looks cute i can add this cat okay and then i can add some something else also okay and for example sheep okay again uh add this image of sheep also side by side currently this slide is not interactive to make it interactive and drawable i will have to choose this option once i click on it it will ask me to update the slide we will just up, uh, update it okay now this slide has become an uh interactable slide so what what students will see they will see uh, different colors they can choose one of the colors and draw a cute smiley on cat's face okay uh, now next uh, is now uh, let me give you an example of the website okay now let's make a new slide for this here it is i can write on this let's i can write this instruction that let's take a look at this website or i can simply say that let's visit this website then i'll click on this icon here and it will ask me for <coughs> the web address that i want to uh, display okay once i have given that web address a small preview will appear at the bottom for us to confirm that the website they that we intend to show to our audience is the correct one then click on update slide okay so at the bottom this bar appears which verifies that it has been Uh, updated and the interaction type is website okay now uh, let us consider that our uh, presentation is uh, finished our lecture or our online interaction or means our meeting uh, anything we were engaged in that has come to an end we can add a slide uh, at the, as the last slide to get feedback from our audience we can do that by uh, choosing this template there is one template for the okay yeah. this is the one we can add this slide at the end which will ask our audience to give us a feedback okay this is a draggable icon it has a draggable icon which students will uh, drag on to thumbs up or thumbs down if you want to change its color or its size we can do so as you have seen earlier we go out we go to this draggable option and then i would like to reduce its size to this much and i also want to change its color we change it to uh the 
this yellow one. So now I will update it. Now students can already see this yellow spot somewhere on the screen which they can drag on top of thumbs up or thumbs down or somewhere in between to record the feedback for this lesson uh, and that will be all.